it's a wonder that you didn't have, or I don't know, maybe you did because um, Dudos and um, and the other club were, I mean, smack dab in the middle of, you know, gang territory, you know, for lack of better words. Did you have uh, any more of those encounters, you know, when your your club was over there? Uh, man, Dudos, um, Dudos, we had, some, do, do, because Dudos was where it was, we had such tight security, but the night we had a new, new addition there, we was out, mm. everybody was outnumbered. I mean, everybody from all every city and town came to see New Edition. They didn't perform it, and they just came to do those. Okay. And man, we do, do. That was probably one of the biggest events of my life. Okay, hmm. and as far as making money and attendance, we must have had about three thousand people that do those that night too. Mm. Do those. It was wall to wall people. I left. I had to go home because I had so much money. I had to leave. Okay, I had to leave. With the money before somebody got an idea. Lonzo got the mm. money. Jack his ass. Okay. Mm. Mm. I left and came back. And I came back. That it, it, a fight had jumped off. But by the time I got there, it was it squashed it so fast and cleared it out because Compton PD was on my team. I had mm. Compton PD on my team. So when it broke out, they said it was a big fight. I didn't see it. All I know is I came back. I passed. I passed out money to all my security guards. Everything was cool, but they say it blew up. They said LL Cool J got ran out of Dudos because he came in there wearing some blue shit or something like that on blue leather. <laughs> and they was about to whip his ass again. I was yeah. like, um, a lot of man, a, a lot of what we did back in the day, man. It was um, well, Eve after dark. We had we had quite a few fights at Eve. At Eve after dark, I had to fight, and that was that was crazy because a lot of back then back then um it was a lot of envy man because i was 22 years old running the eve after dark i had a lot of haterade dude i had a lot of homies that would love the fact that i had the club but uh i had a lot of i had a lot of haterade and one dude man this dude just every every week man this dude wanted to fight he, he would always find a re- and this ain't no ain't no alcohol ain't no dope it's just his Pure hatred, a dislike for me, would show up. And I let's go outside. Come on, let's go. There. Let's do this. And we went outside, dude, and it was amazing. Because we was in the club. As long as we was in the club, oh, yeah, nigga. Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> I was surrounded, okay? Mm-hmm. And we went out the back door down to the steps. And when I went, by the, when I, when I, when I went out the back door, I closed the door behind me, Okay. We went down to the back steps. We're going to go out. I said, I told my boy, I said, can nobody come outside? Just whatever, Whatever's going to happen is going to be me and homeboy. Fuck it. Mm. I can look out the window. And when I get, when I closed the back door and walked down the steps, he was still talking, woo, 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 woo. You know, he's trying to try to get, but you can't hear past the back door. Okay. Mm. You can't hear back past the back door. We get in that, we get in the hallway in the, on the stairs. He wants to start negotiating. Oh, man, you know what, man? I really ain't that bad. Because, see, I realized something, man. I realized something, okay? When people start saying they they, they set words, like whether it be blood or cuz, whatever, that's a call for help. That's a call for help. And if you in their area and you get you hear enough blood, enough cuz, they look, that's like, you know, whoop. You know, birds, mm-hmm. whatever. And sometimes yeah. it's whoa, whoa, okay. Yeah. Then, so all of a sudden, they hear where it's coming from. Next day, you know, you surround it. Well, when, he, mm-hmm. when I took him away from his thing, it reminded me of uh, the good, fe- not good fellows, uh, Bronx Tale. Okay. And they was in the bar. Remember when, remember when the bikers came to the bar in Bronx Tale? Oh yeah. Saw, yep, yep. There. Disrespectful. Yeah, yeah. And they locked the, and he locked the door on him. Okay. Uh huh. Everything changed. Same thing. Uh-huh. Here. When I got him on the back stairs, okay, so let's go outside, man. Well, man, you know, oh man, you know, Lazo, man, mm-hmm. you know, I've been knowing you too long for this right here, man. You know, why we? No, man, you every week you come to the club, you want to talk shit to me about something. Mm-hmm. Obviously, you got a problem with me. We can go outside instead of like being right now, man. I tell you mm-hmm. what, man, fuck, I'm going home, man. You know what? I ain't tripping, dude. I ain't tripping. You on some bullshit. Nah, I'm on some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> You're on the bullshit now. <laughs> you, was, you just tripping, man. Fuck it. Oh, man, let me go. I ain't want my money back, man. I'm going home. Fuck it. And that's what happened. But yeah, a, yep. few times, a few times, it ended up, dude, 
if we was out there tussling in suits and shit. <laughs> Damn. And I ain't gonna sit here and tell you I'm undefeated, but whenever it was and never went down, everybody know that um I'm gonna say this. When it went down, don't fuck with them cats at the Eve at the dark. We ain't I ain't gonna sit and tell you we whooped everybody's ass. No, 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 no. Now, I'm not saying telling you that. I'm just saying them niggas at the Eve, they they, they gonna handle their business. Cause I had I had a policy. If you see me fighting and I get up and you ain't got a scar on your ass, or you ain't jumped on nobody, you getting fired. Mm-hmm. <laughs> if you see me getting jumped on, robbed or anything, if you ain't getting fucked up too, you getting fired. Okay. And that was my policy. Girls, everybody. And that's what we did. That was the understanding. The, the wrecking crew, the guys of the crew would always have to back up the security guards. Cause sometimes we just have too many people show up, man. Mm. I mean, one night they, uh, Damn. I, had a, I think I told you about the security guard with the, uh, he had just got some brand new, uh, pepper spray. Okay. Oh yeah. And he let it off in the club or something. Yeah, he sprayed that Go shit. ahead. Tell the story. Uh, my security guard, crazy mother, crazy one of the military cats. He just loved being shit, you know. And he had just got some brand new pepper spray. I don't know if anybody y'all know about pepper spray. Pepper spray ain't like tear gas. Pepper spray is like concentrated tear gas, and when it hits air, it expands. Okay, so it don't take but a ch- to fuck up some shit. Mm. Fight broke out of Eve after dark. This fool come upstairs like Barney Five. Tweet tweet. <laughs> He oh sprayed shit, man. People was jumping out the window. People were jumping out the window. People was having asthma attacks. People was running out the club. They was crying. You could do it because when pepper spray get in, you can't hard. It, it takes the oxygen out of the air. That could have been a lawsuit, dog. I, right? walked, I walked out the I walked out the fucking office. That shit was in the air. I walked back in the office. That shit followed me in the office. I'm sitting in the, in the office crying like a bitch. Oh, <laughs> can't breathe. Oh uh, man. We had we had bars. We had um um uh, not bars, but um that little me- metal wire mesh wire on the windows, back windows. And folks got their faces pressed to the to the to the windows trying to get air. Yeah. A couple of niggas just died. Just jumped out the front window because it was too much. Couldn't breathe. <laughs> you know, we, it was a packed night, man, and it just was horrible, dude. The fight stopped when we got through, man. It was four or five people in the club. We had to um, give them all kind of milk and sodas and water. Oh my god! Towels and it was just crazy, dude. It, Please tell me you fired that guy. He had to go. Get the fuck out of here. He had to go. Oh man, that's hilarious. 